warning, this video contains material that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. That feels good. Just as I blistered my paw from grabbing a hot skillet, so you hold a grudge and hurt yourselves more than the other person. Just as a pain in my paw is throbbing, so your repetitive behavior is destroying you, and so are your negative thoughts. Just as you apply petroleum jelly or aloe vera on blisters two to three times a day but still see and remember the blisters, so you act good but you still hold a grudge, your negative thinking is hurting your health. Just as I wrapped my blistered paw with a non-stick sterile bandage, so you need to learn to let things go and move forward, focus on the positive aspects of life. Just as the pain in my paw is still throbbing, so you are still thinking negatively. You need to think positive to push these negative thoughts away. Just as it takes time for my paw to heal, so it takes time for you to improve yourselves. Keep thinking positively. Something good will happen. But Chef McTaggart, someone offended me, my friends, and my family. I'm not very happy about that. I'm so sorry you feel that way. But holding grudges is not the proper way to handle things. Think about someone who's having a bad day and try to help that person in some way. Find solutions for problems, but don't take it out on anybody. It seems hard to do. I know, but try to focus on the positives. You'll live a better life, and others will live better lives too. You also need to accept what happened, consider the role you have played, distract yourself with enjoyable activities, practice empathy for all involved, including yourself, don't judge yourself or your feelings. Set healthy boundaries. Focus on the positives. You will live a better life, and others will live better lives too. Don't ever hold a grudge, just as you should not grab a hot skillet without wearing an oven mitt. I will never forgive you for what you've done wrong. Prepare to be punished for your mess-ups. Several years later. I will never forgive you for what you've done wrong. Prepare to be defeated for your mess-ups. Oh, my heart. Oh. Ah! <laughs> ah! Unforgiving and merciless. I will hurt you and make you blame someone. And I will hurt you again. And I will make you think negatively against someone. And I will hurt you again. And I won't rest until you are satisfied of justice and negative thoughts. And I will keep hurting you. I will destroy you. You will do no such thing, for it is I who will defeat you, Grudge. I am Chef McTaggart the Tiger. You think you can beat me, the Grudge? A very powerful feeling? I'll find a way. Just as I got rid of the grudge, so you should get rid of all grudges, hatred, and resentment. Grab a journal and mechanical pencil, and write down your thoughts, experiences, events, etc. Be honest and sincere about it. When you're done writing, read it out loud and think about what you just wrote. Think about the good things. And think about resisting the urge of holding grudges. And think about doing the opposites. Think positive. You will feel better.
After all, we all make mistakes, something we don't mean to do, but we try to learn from those mistakes and not do it again. We also try to make things right, so try to focus on the positives, something good will happen.